this doesn't tear off any bits you'll miss later. Why did you mention that before? Hello guys and welcome back to some more We Happy Few. We're sneaking our way into the parade. Wait, isn't this the underground? I think it is. The, the no place where others live anymore. Might be a good place to camp out. Yeah, he's just camping out where Arthur is gonna be. Well, where he was. What happened here? You better stay away from him. He's about to go. Now, what the heck did happen here? Yeah. So it is due to the plague, huh? Oh yeah, what did Arthur do again? Oh yeah, he only he he made it so the quarantine is lifted. Oh, look at all the pretty clothes. Gonna take some. I would like to wear something else. Where are you going in such a hurry? What the what kind of weapon is that? Our own wee bonnet burn. I wanna. Wanna get past curfew, really? Hey, you say? For God, for Harry and St. George. Winner Shadinga? Winner Oh, the big guys is getting ignored. I'm throwing away immediately, but what about all the bad guys? Why can't I move this way? The gate's stuck. Looks like a plague whistle did a number on this. There's a bunch of these thingies everywhere. Don't say you people were never nice, so that doesn't count. <laughs> Let me make some medicine, it's good. But I can't? I thought I picked some up. Oh, I can, but I can't because I'm in combat right now. And okay, now I should be able to, right? Alright, let's do this. How do I, how do I open this up? Oh, I need to go upstairs. Huh? Have you ever wondered what life will be like 20 years into the future? That would be the year ah, the Department of Senseless yes, Idiotic Research. Away, but 1984 may be closer than you think. At the Wellington World's House of the Future, you can imagine yourself... If anywhere's got hydrogen, it's these bampots. If not, I'm off to the executive committee to fill a bag with hot fucking air. Yeah, this is definitely after Arthur has been here. Right! No more Mr. Right. Nice! <laughs> Out? What the heck? Can't even see where I am. Good 
I say goodnight, and you're the one who is uh, leading. Lay still, you bastard. <clears throat> take how did it take? Did it take the whole tank? And there's my hydrogen. No. I just need to walk out the door and We have an intruder! I'm shutting all the doors! What are you doing there? Really? Oh, for fuck's sake! How do I get out now? Find a way out. Well, how the hell do I do that? I can't even fly out there, can I? Oh wait, the cannon! Oh. Um. Just Pump need the to make cannon? sure it's facing the tower I'm and start. wind it up. That's a terrible idea. Ouch. Come on. Come on. Oh, almost did it. God, sick. I have to kill them now. We just stop that. Yeah, you got me. <laughs> Alright, got some... Another victory. I need something that could potentially give... Never mind, he doesn't have any drinks. Should be good enough. Stop it. And now? I just get in. I hope this doesn't tear off any bits you'll miss later. Why did you mention that before? Ooh. Still got all my bits. They just hurt extraordinarily much. Who needs trains and planes? We ought to set the mail by cannon. All right. All right. I I've opened the door. Now, please, just go. Thank you kindly. I'm going to have the worst headache for the rest of the week. Okay. So you just left. Right. I'm done. <laughs> I appreciate him opening the door though, that was very nice of him. The broadcast tower can't be that far from here. I wonder what the executive committee is up to right now. Uh, let me remember what happens during Arthur's... I don't think they're doing so good. <laughs> Where am I going again? Oh, okay. Oh, they beat up a lot of them out here. Ah, I'll come with this. Dang, they're not nice. Oh, that's a uh, lion killing an eagle, I think. Oh 
my goodness. Hello? I'd like to enter this place. I love how that after me, both of them, even though we have a common goal here. Go forth and sin no more. Can I throw a dog in there? Just throwing a dog over there. Oh, never mind. Quick, quick. Oh, I can just enter. <laughs> Whoops. The elevators must be up these stairs. And it's another fabulous day. Anyone home? Oh, I don't think I want to try to get past headmistress while she's on the you know job. I better you shut her down first. Where have they hidden her controls? You know those signs they have in the village? That say the elevator shuttered. Could you open it? I'm so sorry. I'm in a bit of a jam. Would you mind asking one of my colleagues? Okay. Hello there. Sorry, ma'am. I need to get upstairs. You'll have to ask someone who has time on her hands. Please step away immediately. Okay, I'm away. Only very upset. Jump up with this? No. Let's keep Sorry, knocking. Sorry, ma'am. I need to get upstairs. You'll have to ask someone who has time. Someone with time. Oh, wait a second. Please step away immediately. <laughs> you are not authorized. Please clear the area immediately. Yeah. Yeah. Do it this way then. This is so mean. I'll just buy this and then can I get any medicated stuff and then just buy the rest of Glad that? I came by. Alright, come at me. This is what we train for. Okay, when he's short spike. All right, can I make them actually? I can. How many? One. We need to buy another one. If they had any. Oh, oh, what do I need to make one? I need to have mechanical bits. Don't happen to have any mechanical bits, do you? I'm afraid I'm not finding it. At least I got one. Do you have stuff I can use? No. All right, 
Let's see what else I can do here. What else could do that? If I bought an electronic bomb, right? I should also be able to do it. Sorry, I can't remember what I came here for. So what else can I make? Shock also need electronic bits. Where am I gonna find the electronic bits? Yeah, maybe. You are not authorized. Please clear the area immediately. Oh, you clear the area. Scrape, I fall down. You are not authorized. Please clear the area immediately. You are not authorized. Please clear the area immediately. <clears throat> Moldy bread. Alright, on there I saw that what I needed, so I can just get it from there. Requires power. You are not authorized. Please clear the area immediately. Sorry, I shall clear the area. Don't you worry you about that. You are not authorized. Please clear the area immediately. Very into authorizing clearing area, sir. Uh, now that I got this one, I can actually put it down. I turn on the bloody power to the elevator. Have I fell down again? There's first aid kit. Let's use it. Yeah, completely, huh? huh? You wanna burn too, huh? Too bad I don't have a weapon that can do that to actually has her ability. Get what's coming to us in the end. No, no, don't fall. God damn it, really? Well, I guess I'm just not gonna take the stuff that's up there. Ah, there we go. And up I go. Up you go. 
How to reveal the truth? Are you ready? Once you go through these doors, you are done with any adventures. Sure. I'm ready to see the truth, I guess. What the hell happened here? Food production. Good Christ, it's all going down the crapper. You don't have to talk like that. Is someone there? No. Who's in charge here? You're in luck. It's me today. We rotate the dread responsibility. Do I know you? So, there's only one of you who doesn't take joy on a day. <laughs> I might have had a little. <laughs> the tanks in the military camp. Did you know they made a papier mache? Oh, that's terrible. Would you like a joy? Have you been getting out into the village lately? People are getting a bit slim. And these charts, are we running out of food? Oh, no, don't look at the charts. They're horrible. Here, let me horrible. get you another joy. We've got our own booth. They're the executive committee. So you people are in charge of the whole shebang? That's us. Ever since the victory. What's wrong with the tanks? You know what? I've forgotten. Oh, good. Well, come back if you remember, but with any luck, you won't. <laughs> Be seeing you. We have to tell people. They need to make a new executive committee. <laughs> Absolutely. If they won't heed the loony from the garden district, they're sure to hearken to the dead girl in his head. They'd listen to Uncle Jack. You know what that man did. Everyone listens to him. All day long. I can't stand his smirking face. Ollie. You're right. You're always right, but it's not going to be pretty. If we go upstairs, we're going to make him tell the truth about bloody everything. Okay, let's do it then. Hello? Yoo-hoo! Hello? Here's Ollie! Great, great day for joy, right? Ha ha. Time to pay the piper, Jack. Where is he? Good Christ. He's gone off. He can't have gone off. I've got things to tell you, Jack. Text less tape. This is last show. How'd you ken that? The, the camera's smashed. They couldn't have shot another. Play it. Okay. Let's see what Jack has to say for himself. Let's do it. Hmm. I'm sure I had it right here. Uh, you know, there are times you can actually take a little too much joy and, um, well, then you can't remember where anything is, can you? Ah, yes. Hmm. Here it is. Um, Mrs. Florence Gilbert of Brougham Hayes is holding an exhibition of her hand-knit dolls. Huh. She likes to make dolls from all over the world, all knitted in wool. It's his last you show. How'd you ken that? The, the camera's dolls. smashed. They couldn't have what? shot another. You just said that again. Margaret. What? Why is he talking about you? Who's Margaret? Because hmm? I love dolls. <laughs> what am I talking about? Who cares about the past? Well... Listen, do drop by to see these fabulous dolls of Mrs. Florence Gilbert's. Poor thing. Poor thing? She loved dolls, you know. She had dozens of them from all over. I can assure you that there's absolutely no truth to the silly rumor that the food is running out. How does he know about your dolls? However, it is true that there's a brand new flavor of joy. You think a twelve of your daughter would be over dolls? His daughter? Yes, Ollie. But she'd make these darling little costumes. I knew it was wrong. I mean... God, she was even excited about going to Germany. It was me. 
couldn't imagine living without it, so... So I hid her. And someone tipped them off. And she ran. No, that's not right. It was Jack what turned you in and I what tried to save you. No, Ollie, you turned me in. I'm afraid we've come to the end of our time. But you were my daughter. Jack Worthing. Margaret I mean it's... Worthing. You're Ollie Starkey. No, oh, I couldn't have. I could never have betrayed you. you my... Neighbour. I was your neighbour. How could I? How could I do a thing like that to a little girl? Dear God. Dear God, I'm sorry, Margaret. I never meant to hurt you. It's a bit late for an apology. What, what can I do? Tell me. Do you hear me? We've come to the end of our time. The food's run out. We're all going to starve to death. You have to stop taking your joy. Take it from Jack Worthy. That's me. People have to know. But Jack's your father. Stop. That Jack's gone. That the food's run out. You all have to stop. That they have to stop. stop taking the joy. Stop it. You have to broadcast the tape. Right. Right. I could do that. But you won't, will you? God. God, I never meant to hurt you, Margaret. I'm sorry. Well, that's interesting. So it turns out. Okay, that, that, that's very interesting. You saw for yourself what it, what it is the case here. Yeah? That's very cool. Blood twist, huh? It's not going away. Cut the power! The bastards! There's an emergency... one of those really power thingy-mabobs. Emergency! You're on air! Someone's coming through the copper! Watch out! Someone's coming! <laughs> Lucky I don't believe in ghosts. Step away, turn that Okay. The Bob Watch out, someone's coming. Go away. Keep doing this. Someone's coming through the popper. Power? I have to rewrite the power? I don't know. Let this be a lesson to you then. There we go. It's not going away. I'm afraid we've come to the end of our time. Do you hear me? We've come to the end of our time. End of our time. The food's run out. We're all going to starve to death. We're running out you of power. You have to stop taking your joy. Sorry, I'll take care of it. Take it from Jack Reddy. You all have to stop. Stop. Stop it. But you won't, will you? You won't. I'm afraid we've come to the end of our time. We're running out of power. We've come to the end of our time. We've come to the end of our time. We've come to the end of our time. We've 
Oh my goodness. I guess walking out the front door is out of the question. Good thing I made you get that float. Very good indeed. What do we do now? We say goodbye. To who? I'm not really your daughter. I know that. And I'm not really here. But... I'm a lie too. We've been together so many years. You don't think having an invisible friend is a wee bit babyish for a man who's been to war? We can hide in the train station till it all blows over. Now that you've put all that on the telly, I think it's time you put away childish things. You're right. You're always right. Goodbye, Margaret. Hey! You bastards! Look up! It's Ollie Starkey! Wake up, you damn sheep! I never liked you! Or you! That's right, you as well, pal! It's not a lovely day for it. It's a fucking terrible day for it. Lovely day for fucking war anyway. Oh my god. Fuck the law, you bastards. I'm going home. How's it gonna get what down now? So is that an act four or epilog? You all right, sir? I'd forgotten just how heinous a person I am. Well, the truth is not for everyone, sir. You see, some people find they are stronger than they ever supposed. Some people can let go of the confabulations that have comforted them. Some make choices that surprise even themselves. The booze run out. You have to stop taking your joy. But perhaps these people are not you. Are you sure you don't wish to forget and go back? I was happy before, wasn't I? Why would I forget? I don't remember. Why the heck would I forget? After all this. Are you really a constable? I patrol the boundaries. Come on, sir. Once you're out there, you'll know what to do. Okay, so there's no act for. Alright, so my, my thoughts on the game. Uh, impressive. I think it's an indie game, actually. Uh, I, I don't know for sure. But it's definitely impressive that they made this. And, and it's so different from every single other game I've played, in a way. The whole setting and the whole idea is extremely unique. I've never seen it anywhere else. And I have to say that that is the strongest suit. Like, it's new, it's interesting. The scenario is extremely interesting. The story is interesting. Everything regarding the world building and the story is extremely interesting. Now, there are two areas where this game sucks completely in. And it's one 
world size and second uh, gameplay when it comes to combat specifically. While we're talking about gameplay, uh, it all kind of depends on what can I say? Uh, the, 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 the hits mechanic, like you only have weapons that are close range. You can only melee with bats, and there's not even a wide variety, like variety of bats. There's only like a small selection of things you can actually use as a weapon. And then you have throwable objects that are extremely boring and don't really do anything to enemies. And I'm pretty sure that this game would have been way more interesting if they had included at least handguns. Uh, so I'd say that that's his weakest point, clearly. Uh, or at least the weakest point. The gameplay became extremely repetitive. They just gave you everything right off the bat, except when you upgrade. Uh, second thing is... Uh, the world building, like I said, not the world building, the world itself, the, the size of the world. Now, the size of the world, it's, it's interesting, it's big, it's cool, but it's too big for what they're trying to do. They make you run back and forth from such a big distance in the middle of missions. If I am going to be completely honest, I would say that at least half my playtime, if not more, was literally just me running back and forth. So let's say that if I edited out uh, all the running between from A to B and then going back to C, where A was earlier, or A, B, back to A, then I would probably have a, a whole playthrough that lasted about maybe 10 hours, maybe 6 hours. Uh, not quite sure, but it would definitely make everything way less long. So I am hating on it when it comes to the world build. Not the world build. Why do I keep saying that? <laughs> the world itself. And how big it is. It was way too big. Just make it like areas. Like the area when you went down into the sewer as um, Arthur was completely fine. I don't know why they didn't just make every single area into like a little area. And then you kind of just went through like, um, kind of like Outer Worlds does. Uh, in, in a sense, where it's like, it's not open open world, but it's slightly open. But it's not huge. And I think that is where this game suffers most. Especially when most of the missions are run over and do this and then run back again. Uh, for that specific reason, I will not give it a 7, I will give it a 6. And, and 6 is kinda even pushing it, but I was so immersed in the game. I was so into the world building. It was The characters were so well thought out. I wouldn't say the dialogue made sense half the time. Uh, but the characters themselves, you see where they were coming from, you kinda felt with them and understood them. And you hated Sally because you knew what kind of, at least I did, because I knew what kind of person she is and what she resembles. So, I mean, that, that's at least me. Uh, I don't know about other people, but I've heard from a friend that they also didn't like Sally. So it's at least not just me. But again, a whole world building, whole story, story itself, the whole idea of three characters. It's interesting, it's cool. It'd been way more interesting if one could use guns and another one could not, and they would have to have fit the playstyle of using a gun and not. Uh, if guns were a thing in the game, also way more interesting. Because the only real resources you needed were um, food and water, and there were plenty of both. Otherwise, it was pretty much just go from A to B all the time. Mm, 
but I will say that the graphics are unique and they will not be outdated for a long time. The reason being that they are extremely unique, they actually look good. They look like they're made out of um, plastic and clay at the same time. And that's their specific style and I love that style, I think it's pretty cool. But yeah, this is definitely not a game over player game again because I would just get the same experience again. Uh, I can't play a different playstyle with the characters. One, only two options are one stealthy and the other one uh, aggressive. But if you, you you can't really be real stealthy, so I mean, I, I guess you can try. But oh well, I am I'm more of a running in that kind of guy. Uh, but those are my two complaints. Every, otherwise, uh, the story and the world building above average. Characters pretty average, and everything else is just average. So the true thing that shines in this game, I'm gonna say that again. Is the world, the setting, and the aesthetic of everything. That's where this game really shines. And that is where I would go ahead and say that I would probably just play this game at some point. Just to admire how it looks. Like I would literally just turn on the game, start a new game. Look at the graphics of the game. Look at how they made different things. And then try to kind of take in how I could try to... How I feel about it, and if I can get inspired by it. This is how I felt when I played through it. I'm also shaking my hands a lot, even though you can't see it, like while I'm explaining stuff. <laughs> but yeah, that's all I have to say about the game. I'm gonna talk again at the end of the credits. Uh, where I'm gonna say goodbye and everything. Otherwise, uh, I, if you're going now, I hope you enjoyed and hope to see you in the end. Otherwise, stay awesome. And if you're staying till the end, I do my outro. I thank you and I will see you then.
Lovely day for it. Lovely day for it. Lovely day for it. I don't even know how to tell the truth anymore. Lovely day for it. Are you joking? It's been shitty all day. Did you not notice the drops of water falling out of the sky? It's gonna be shitty tonight too. You're right. It has been rather a shit day. All right, well, there were a few things I want to say here before I ended that I just thought about. The box, when it comes to box, there are a lot of them. Uh, well, I guess you can say there's a few, but there's, uh, but they're not that, they're not that game breaking. It's just small things here and there where the characters stand, some cutscenes not loading. Um, so, so there's a lot of small things, but there's no game breaking box. Just saying, uh, only some visual ones and some ones where you kind of have to just skip a cutscene to actually end it. Just gonna say that. Also, why I give it a six and not a seven. Um, but I hope you enjoyed this playthrough. If you did, consider follow following. Me. No, no, consider subscribing to me. Uh, or just liking the video or checking out another one of my playthroughs i wish to appreciate another person in the potato empire uh, <laughs> uh this is the first time i've done that by the way I, I i just made that up so that's always something but i hope you enjoy it nonetheless and i hope to see you in another video or another playthrough of mine and as always stay awesome